This is a case video demonstrating the implantation of an Endologix Alto stent graft for abdominal aortic aneurysm. The crossover lumen, which is specific for the stent graft, is also utilized for an up and over technique. The procedure begins with bilateral common femoral artery access and placement of proglides in a pre-closed fashion. 13 French main body device and sheath are advanced up the ipsilateral side. This is performed under fluoroscopic guidance, as you can see on the right. After positioning the main body into roughly the appropriate position based on preoperative CT marks, angiography is then performed to further delineate the anatomy. Aside from the suprarenal stent, the main body has no other stent structure within the main body, allowing the delivery system to be extremely flexible in tortuous anatomy and delivery. After marking the renal arteries, the main body is deployed, as you can see in the animation above as well as in real time below. The first yellow nested knob will release the suprarenal mid-crown and will be inflated to clearly position the mid-crown markers. The fabric starts 2 mm below these markers, but the only portion of the graft opposing the wall are the ceiling rings indicated by the proximal large balloon marker. After positioning the main body into the appropriate position, the second yellow knob is removed in order to release the main body. The polymer is then mixed, which will be injected into the graft into the ceiling rings. The syringe with the mixed polymer is then attached to the device and the auto injector is then activated to inject into the graft and the ceiling rings. This polymer is radio opaque and so you're able to appreciate filling of the ceiling rings on fluoroscopy. You can now see the two large proximal ceiling rings which create a new inner lumen within the aorta within the graft to hypothetically prevent the systolic pressure from dilating the neck leading to type 1 endoleaks. We then turn our attention to placement of the contralateral limb. A wire is advanced into the pigtail catheter and this is exchanged for a snare sheath and snare. The snare is then advanced up to the contralateral gate, as you can see on the right. We will now cannulate the contralateral gate using the system's built-in crossover lumen. The wire is brought up and over in the graft and captured by the snare. This snared wire is then pulled through and out the contralateral sheath. We used a 300 centimeter Miracle Bros 0.014 wire, but 018 wires are also able to be accommodated in the crossover lumen. A catheter is then advanced over this wire which was snared, and the wire is then pulled back and advanced up into the proximal aorta. Using the contralateral sheath, we perform an angiogram in order to visualize the hypogastric artery and mark where the landing zone will be for the 
contralateral limb. The contralateral limb is then advanced through the sheath over the wire and into appropriate position. The device is then deployed by pulling back the sheath as seen in the live video and in the animation above. The nose cone is then drawn back to the sheath and the whole delivery system is removed from the patient. A short 9 French sheath is then placed for hemostasis. At this point, the final yellow knob is then removed to fully release the main body from the delivery device. The balloon is inflated one more time to ensure a proximal seal. At this point, the nose cone is withdrawn back to the sheath of the delivery system. At this point, the main body device is completely removed out of the sheath on the ipsilateral side. After marking the hypogastric artery, we advance the ipsilateral limb through the sheath over the wire and into position. The ipsilateral limb is then deployed. The limbs are then simultaneously ballooned. This is done for the entire length of the limbs. After this, a completion angiogram was performed, which shows successful deployment of the Stent graft, as well as exclusion of the aneurysm with no signs of endoleak and widely patent graft. The bilateral access sites are then closed using the previously placed proglides with good hemostasis. This concludes this case video. Thank you for watching.